Okay, I've now set it up so that electrons are now firing out of that electron gun and they are going straight downwards. If you look to the right of that tube, to the right of our image, you can see a green beam. Electrons are going down, they're crashing into helium atoms on their way. It excites the helium atoms and when they relax back down to the ground state, they give off green light so we can see the beam of electrons by the green light. Right now the magnetic field is zero. I'm going to go up and turn up the current through those coils of wire, which will create a magnetic field and change the direction of that green beam. So as I gradually turn up this magnetic field, as I gradually ramp up the current through these rings, you can see that green beam start to deflect. Why? Because it's composed of charged particles moving through an external magnetic field. That external magnetic field is created by the current going through these red coils. The green beam, the electrons, it's still crashing into the glass bulb, so you can see the green beam terminates at some point. But as soon as the beam clears the bulb, you see a complete circle. So the electrons move in complete circles around that tube. And if I continue to increase the current through those coils, that means increasing the strength of the magnetic field B. You can see that the force exerted must be getting larger because the circle is getting smaller. The radius is getting smaller. We're still increasing, still increasing. The circle is getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. That's about as small as we get right now. Now, I will leave the current alone. We're going to keep the current here. What I'll do now is increase the accelerating voltage. That means I'll change, increase the speed of those electrons firing out of the gun. Right now, the speed of those electrons is increasing. And we're increasing more, still increasing. And what happens when I increase V? The radius of the circle increases. Now, what questions do you have to answer? Well, what's the direction of that magnetic field produced by the current in the coils? That's one. But the electrons themselves are also moving charged particles, which also create a magnetic field. So I'm going to ask you to figure out the direction of the magnetic field created by those moving electrons that are in that green beam. How are you going to do this? Well, you know that those electrons moving in a circle must have a force directed toward that center of the circle. That's your clue. Have fun figuring out the rest of the lab today.